All right, y'all, welcome back to Comet Arms Channel. Now, today we are checking out the special Jaeger Battalion out of Finland, and I'm surprised I haven't checked out these guys previously. I think we might have seen them in like some of the other videos that I did on the channel, but I, did, I didn't do a video devoted to these guys specifically, so we're definitely gonna check them out. I found uh, a pretty solid video, and you guys actually recommended this video as well, but this is definitely one of the newer videos that I, I was able to find about the special Jaeger Battalion. And I, I found an older one, but you could tell it was much older. All the equipment was older. So this one seems pretty up to date as far as what they're using today. And it looks pretty solid so far. I've seen a little bit of it. But yeah, we'll do a reaction to this one because I'm excited to check it out. And so far, the gear looks really, really cool and really badass. And again, we've seen some pretty awesome stuff out of Finland. So I wouldn't be surprised to be uh, impressed by these guys as well. But yeah, so far, the gear just looks amazing. Just look at, I, I don't know what kind of rifle that is, some sort of AK variant or something, but yeah, I like the, the finish on it. I don't know if that's like, <laughs> I like the finish on it. Yeah, I don't know if that's like a Cerakote or something. Cerakote is like basically when they like oven cook paint onto the rifle. So I'm not sure if that's what it is, but it's a pretty good looking coating. They had a pretty awesome suppressor on the rifle as well. And they have an awesome, this looks like an aim, an aim point. So they have high cut helmets. And yeah, that's just, that's some solid kit right there. Man, that suppressor just looks wild too. <laughs> Always gotta stop and check out the gear. Okay, I got a flashlight. I like the camouflage in Finland. Okay. Yeah, we've seen it with other like fitness training videos where they get to operate in these urban environments a lot and it's really cool. So I'm not sure if this takes place in one of like the bigger cities or if like it takes place in a normal city in general, but it's cool for them to get the training to actually go and operate in these specific areas that they might be called to do. Especially for special forces, they can pretty much be called to do anything. So it's nice for them to get the, uh, the training in these areas. But yeah, their, their body armor looks pretty solid too. Very streamlined. I love that helicopter. So badass. I don't know if I've played a lot of Call of Duty Modern Warfare or something, but just seeing the snowmobiles and seeing them actually used in the military is just so badass to me. Especially since I've never done any like Ar Arctic Warfare training. I haven't gotten to use snowmobiles, but it just looks so cool. And this helicopter is really cool as well. Nice. So cool. The snow makes everything look cooler. <laughs> nice. Yeah, man, just the, the kit they're using just looks like top tier. It looks awesome, especially those rifles. But yeah, they're getting a lot of awesome sick, like sick shots of them parachuting in. And everything just looks cooler when there's like snow on the ground. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's just me. But I never really have to operate in the, in the snow so much. So I don't know. I think it just looks cool. It's very aesthetic. But yeah, doing all the jumps and whatnot from the, the helicopters and the planes into the like the snowy environments just looks very cool. Again, the snowmobiles just look badass. And we're seeing a decent amount of stuff that these guys are capable of, but I'm sure this video is only skimming the, surf the surface of what sort of equipment they actually get and what sort of operations they can do.
Yeah, just, just look at that kit. And the armor. Yeah, so we can see they have like the blue barrels and the, the blue magazines or whatever. So they're doing the simunition or the paint rounds, which is awesome training. It's just, it's very, very expensive. I think out of like eight years of being in the military, I think I've done the simunition about four times. And it's it's very, very fun, very solid training. It's just very expensive. I think it's about $15 for 20 rounds. So yeah, it gets pretty pricey, but you can imagine the special operations are gonna have a pretty solid budget. But yeah, that's, that's definitely some of the best training you can get because whenever you actually get impacted by the paint round, you can do all the casualty uh, evaluation and everything. So you can see, they're evaluating casualty right now, so I'm not sure where he got hit, but then they can actually like render age just based off of where he got hit if you are doing that. A lot of units won't really implement that so much, but it's very solid training. You can see they got the flashbangs in, and really the flashbangs are an awesome tool to have, and you see it with special operations or like CQB specific teams, but really the, the infantry in general should be using flashbangs a lot more or at least get accustomed to seeing them and being able to use them. Oh yeah. Damn that was high. That's an awesome place to jump into. <laughs> yeah, very solid video. Again, I think snowmobiles just look badass. I'm not sure how easy they are to actually use because I've never used a snowmobile. So if you guys can provide some insight as to, as to how difficult those things are, are to use, I don't know if the military gets specific ones, but I imagine a snowmobile is a snowmobile. But yeah, it just looks like a lot of fun. It sort of just looks like a jet ski. And I, I've used a jet ski once, and that was uh, pretty easy to use, but a little hard to control. So I'm not sure if these guys, these guys probably get some extended training on it, so they're not rolling those things or whatever. I'm not really sure how hard it is to roll that, but yeah, it just looks like fun. I don't know. I guess I'm just nerding out here, but I'd like to try it out for sure. I'd like to do some training with these guys. Of course, it'd be awesome to do the CQB training specifically. And again, I like I like how they implement the the casualty evaluation and everything to the training because a lot of units don't really do that as much as they should. And we saw it previously. I think it was with the Finnish MPs when we did that reaction video a few months back. They were doing that as well. So it seems like you guys get some pretty solid like medical evaluation training and actually rendering aid. So in the U.S., we have something called Combat Lifesaver which goes along with something called uh, TCCC or Tactical Combat Casualty Care. So that's sort of the training you get when you're just like in the infantry, but not everyone gets that. You'll get a pretty good understanding of how to render aid and, and whatnot, but yeah, we don't really enforce it as much as I've seen Finland enforce it. So kudos to you guys for actually doing that. But yeah, of course, these guys look, these guys look badass and uh, everyone would like to do training with them just because it looks like a lot of fun, but yeah, especially me specifically. They seem like they're they're pretty solid with their CQB. So I'd like to do some some training with the simulation to see how those guys really do their CQB. But very, very fun to check out. Again, this is one of the newer videos, so we got to check out a lot of the newer equipment, which is always good to see. It's cool to check out old videos as well to see where the progression sort of came from, but it's nice to see the updated stuff for sure. But yeah, of course, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This video has, I mean, I should have did it a while back because, of course, you always got to check out the special forces from the countries. But, yeah, these guys look pretty awesome. And this is a pretty cool little montage. Again, I don't like to do the montage videos so much, but this one is pretty solid. Again, it showed, it showed us a lot of the training that they can do. And, it, again, you can see the proficiency is there, and they know what they should be focusing on. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think about the video down in the comment section. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did... Feel free to, to hit the thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, definitely consider subscribing. I do appreciate it. I do appreciate all the support I see from the subscriptions and the comments and the likes and everything, even in the Discord. So definitely keep that support coming. I do appreciate y'all. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. But that is it for this one. So I will see y'all in the next one.